Hello everyone, how are you? So today we will create a website. I will upload the website in GitHub. You can access. I will give you the link in the video description. You can check it out. So let's have some let this is the blueprint okay so this is the first page and you can see here a div and the div have a padding from top and left you can see here a simple about section and an image and you can see here a pie chart so i already created this pie chart in the github you can see here you can access it or you can follow me in github okay so i will use this in my project like that and this section is the work section here you can you can show multiple projects over here you can see here a button after clicking the button the project will pass and another project will appear here parallelly the details uh, will be changed and uh, uh, this section will be changed okay so and this is the feedback section you can see here at two dips i created this uh, uh, i will create this using flexbox align item center and finally this is the hey footer part okay so footer part you can see here the uh, media links over here similarly i have over here so i already created a template like okay let you check this is the template i created this and i add four image in the a tag you can see here in the anchor tag the four spg images and in the header section i added four anchor tag and this is the about section this is skill section and this is work section you can see here the three boxes and this is for the footer so you can you can see here the header section so let's give some style to the header section okay okay so here i added some hover animation over here okay and i did it the the header section display will be flex and justify content center because of that uh, the links are links are come to the of the div okay so now i'll add the second page i'll go for the second page <coughs> here I have two two divs and left one is for the image and right one is for the detail section okay so let's add the text and image so you can see here i created uh, this here i added a section that is detail image section and detail about six set in the details image section i added a pattern the, this pattern and i added the image of mine okay so if you see i added a 50 percent width that is the half of the parent width and the height is 100 percent and the position relative and in the image about section i give 
up to the image tag that is bg pattern and about image and in this image i did the position absolute and left from 50 pixel and top from 50 pixel that's why it is uh, poison is here image poison is here okay and i uh, give a grayscale when i over the filter will be none you can see here when i hover in the image the grayscale will disappear okay so the detail section is uh, same just i add a padding from top 180 pixel that's why it, it like uh, come to the center and here i added a button uh, style of the button you can see here sorry sorry not this this is the style of the button okay so let's create the second thing that is this this is the complex part in the total project okay so if you remember i say that this the pie chart part is i already created this part okay so let's let's make this okay so you can see here i copy the whole thing over here and paste it here just i uh, alternate this side okay photo will come here and the detail section come over here and i edit some top and left value i overwrite this and from top and right value i give some and i give some padding okay so you can see here I don't need this button if you see here I don't need this button in this section I must add in this pie chart section okay and must uh, change the photo okay so let's do that and this text will be also changed let's do it so i successfully inserted the pie pie chart okay in percentage format okay so let's have some look here i paste from my github okay there i already created this type of pie chart okay so you can access this code for example i want uh, some more pie chart okay so easily i copy this and paste it this is four five six and seven okay and i change the name that is five six and seven and come over here and copy one one two and three similarly i need to change this five six seven now you can see now i need to change the degrees for example 10 degree here 110 degree here 100 degree okay so you can see here and here you can change the text for example one percent here c surf here uh, example 70 percent c plus plus here example for example 
स्विफ्ट पी एच पी ओके पी एच पी इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो यू कैन सी हेयर द टेक्स विल ऑल्सो चेंज ओके सो यू कैन एड मल्टीपल पाई चार्ट लाइक दैट कॉपी पेस्ट एंड चेंज द सी एस एस प्रॉपर्टी हेयर ओके एंड यू कैन चेंज द साइज ऑफ द पाई चार्ट एंड द बॉर्डर यू कैन चेंज इट ओवर हेयर ओके नाउ वर्ड्स इज अवर फाइनल टारगेट नेक्स्ट टारगेट इज आवर वर्क सेक्शन will showcase my all works in here all means and the main works main and popular five six work i'll add here and one thing you need to change the photo okay so let's go the previous video we discussed about that pie chart and we create uh, Uh, that other three pie chart using mm, this four pie chart we copy paste and we uh, edit some codes okay and i change the photo over here okay you can see here and i change the background pattern also okay so you can see here one thing that is the uh, pie chart section you can see here this is the pie chart section i i give some i given some uh, property over here you can see here display flex justify content space evenly and flex wrap is wrap so content space evenly means it will occupy the same distance um, from all elements you can see here the distance between two element element is same over here okay and the flex wrap mainly when i when i decrease the width side it will content in the width okay width means box so let's jump to our next section this is the work section i think this is the difficult part over here you can see here a uh, div in the div section we have two child the left one is for the uh, featured section here i will show my projects photos and the right one is for the details section here you can see the project title details and which which scale i used in the project okay and you can see here one thing this is a logo this is simply anchor tag we, we previously we created this one you can uh if i if you recall this i created same thing over here and the third uh, last part you can see here when i uh, click to the button in the next button the project will change and the uh, this part will go here and uh, like this so, so let's get so i creating a website this is the website almost done And this is the blueprint of the website. You can see here. I trying to clone over here. You can see here the pie chart section. Uh, you can see here the pie chart section. Uh, you can see over the work section over here. You can see here the about section, button section. Buttons are I think similar. Okay. And. you can see here the work section here the skills i saw it here i add a button over here if i click it in the button the project will change in the next project like that and it will continue in loop okay so here the skills here the about and here the project name okay and here i will uh, assign the footer page okay so all the content link i will provide in video description you can modify it as your own and not forget to tag me in linkedin okay so let's finish the website few minutes later 
so you can see here i created the feedback section okay this is the message send message here the inputs okay and here I have a message okay so now i will create the footer section okay so let's go so just i completed this website you can see here if you need to know how to create uh, this website just you comment down below i will explain each and every part of the website so you can see here the multiple option here here the work section here the project section if i click here the project will change and here the pie chart section and here about me okay so this website is also responsive okay if you want to see the responsive of the website you can see here first of all i do it 75 percent okay so this is the normal if i do it 100 you can see here if i decrease the width you can see here it will responsive you can see this feedback section you can see this okay and also you can see this image size if i decrease the width the image will fit in the container okay so that's guys i'll upload the whole thing in uh, github you can access this i'll provide you in the video description all the links so okay bye guys